Foursquare? Really? Yes, I'm really excited to play the game of Foursquare. Yippee! Dude, calm down. Foursquare. I am very excited to, to get outside and play the game. Why would not? Uh, who's Lance? Can I play too? Um, uh, where, where did, did you come, come from? from? too geosphery for me to hit it back. Newton's third law regarding action and reaction force combined with the hard surface of the geosphere makes this game too difficult. <laughs> Why are you guys laughing? My scientific observations are accurate. Because you're horrible at the game. I am not. It is the geosphere. And come to think of it, the humidity in the air, the water vapor mixed with heat is making the air feel very sticky. I don't know if I can play in these conditions anymore. Where's my inhaler? Oh man, the sun is too low in the sky right now. What? Well, you know how when the seasons change, the earth is in a different alignment with the sun? Yeah, aren't we on a tilt too? Uh, I gotta go. Just remembering that we're on the tilt and our orbit's all wacky. You are correct, young person. As we enter the months, the winter months, the sun's trajectory in the sky lowers because of angle at which the sun hits us. Just stop, let's play. So when I went to hit the ball, the sun being so low in the sky, shined right into my eyes, nearly blinded. Wait, wait a minute. If you look into the sun, you will possibly cause irreversible damage. Hey guys, remember when we watched the eclipse and how our teacher was crazy about us not looking at the sun? Yeah, maybe Santa's nerdiness is helping. For crying out loud, let's play! Hold up, let's talk about more of this sun issue. I'm intrigued. What were we playing again? I don't know. Let's go inside. Santa's making this too nerdy. So if you stare directly at the sun, harmful UV rays from the sun will possibly damage your eyes, causing temporary or in some cases permanent damage. That's why when I fly around, I make sure to always wear sunglasses. Interesting. But let's get back to class, guys.